My dad was in love with capturing moments of our lives. He often was capturing the most mundane moments. And now looking back at those memories, I can see when I was joyful or when I was enjoying my holidays or when I was simply lying. As I look through the photos and videos I have on my phone, there are hundreds of them, but they often are captured to be shown to others. It's as if I have forgotten that I need to keep some of these moments to myself. I think there is something valuable in the photos that were taken of us in the past, probably because they were taken when something interesting happened. It wasn't just a post on social media to share with friends. So I asked a few friends to share their favorite childhood photos and tell me more about it. So here are their stories. This picture was taken in 2003 at a four sandalot Sandalat Park, you know, the park that is opposite Kempinski is a children's park. We went for a school excursion at the children's park. I remember this was like a train course at the children's park, but currently when you go, there's not there. I was in kindergarten too. Maybe a little bit nervous looking at the photograph and the way my lips were closed tightly. Um, it showed that maybe I was pretty nervous because probably it was my first time sitting on the train. And excursions were fun. Um, I mean, going out of school, trying to explore the city was, was a good thing. I mean, every kid was excited to go for excursion. Just have fun, basically, yeah. As kids... Nothing came close to our nighttime warm meal my mom would fix for us. In our favorite sippy cups, we would immediately grab our chairs and enjoy every bit of the chocolatey goodness while we goofed around. For me, these were times I cherished the most because despite all the little sibling rivalry we endured during the day, there was nothing our meal date nights couldn't fix. This picture right here, it's me in the green jacket, my older brother in the red jacket, and then my grandfather. I remember these days so vividly, just doing something that I think I don't know anybody would appreciate to do with their family. While he was living with us, you know, he would instill a lot of principles of faith, character, discipline while in the household. He was very strict. I don't think we recognized it at the time. We just thought it was a strict elder but I think he was practicing balance in this moment here. These things that you don't really realize how important they were at the time, especially because we were young, but now I can look back and say, wow, these uh, were cherished experiences, and I'm sure he must have enjoyed this, having time to go fishing in the hometown with his daughter's children. This is such a fun day, I remember it so clearly. I was taken to the park uh, with our babysitter at the time years ago, and I remember this day so clearly because we went to uh, Burger King. We got some fries, chicken tenders, you know, kids meal. And we walked over to this little space, this green space. One of my favorite places in this city that I grew up in, the Ferry Landing. And I remember all these birds coming by. And I remember giving french fries out to the birds and the seagulls or whatever there. And I gave one, you know, two birds came by and then I would give two and six birds would come by. And I remember, you know, I think it was the nanny or somebody around just saying, hey, be careful, don't feed the birds too much. And then I remember just being like, oh, you're right, because if I do this, then they'll tell their friends to come and then we'll have a whole bunch of seagulls. And then at that time, bang, I think this picture came. And what I remember about this day was that it was Christmas, Christmas Eve. My grandmother from Holland came to Ghana. So my mom had designed and sewed this dress for me. And she made me and my brother practice a little recital for my, for my grandmother. Christmas in Ghana when I was young was very different from what it is now. We could not travel to Italy all the time, so we were mostly in Ghana for Christmas. And because we were always here and there wasn't much to do, I remember my mom would try to make the most out of everything. Same year that I sent the picture, the same year I got a Barbie airplane 
for Christmas and I thought of course it's Santa Claus that brought it uh, but it was actually my mom and only later on when she told me that Santa doesn't exist did she tell me that they had actually got this um, in Italy in the summer and put it in the suitcases uh, when they came back to Ghana and she kept it hidden in the house for a very long time. It was it was really special because it made you sort of understand now like that I have my own kids. It's really what you make of things and not what you have, but what you can make with what you have. It, it makes it really special. It's not just gifts, gifts, gifts all the time and let's go to this place and let's go to that place. Uh, but really just being in the house, being with family, being in nature, in the garden and getting interested in different things and using your imagination and really these uh, these times in Ghana, this Christmas has really um, changed the way I look at things as a mom. I think looking back at these photos and looking back, looking back at my own photos, it just brought a really good feeling to me. I hope you also enjoyed the video and you also experienced some good feelings. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye.